Okay, now that we know how to create videos using those bumpers that I made for you, let's take a look at how to upload the video and get it totally set up for YouTube, which is far easier than the editing process. So we're going to start by going to youtube.com and signing in. So this little link up here, click on it to sign in. And we know the username and password because I sent it to you. Um, let's see here. Have to remember this and sign in. There we go. So now we're totally logged in. This middle part here, when you first sign in, is all, it's just stuff for you to watch or whatever. Um, they kind of aggregate what you've been watching and you don't need to worry about any of that. So just bypass that. Now, up here there's a little upload link and you're going to click upload. And then you just select the file that you generated when you rendered out the video. And I gave you all those settings too. So this is my hard drive. I'm just going to go into the Dropbox here. And Kids Derby is the new video that I've created that I want to upload. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say fish, oops, Valdez Fish Derbies. And we're actually not going to just call this fish Kids Derby. It's Kids Derby Recap. A little apostrophe there okay so the description and tags um, luckily we already have those applied to the video of Theron Lee so what I'm going to do is I hit this little down arrow here and I right click here and open this in a new tab and this will take us to our channel so we'll pause this we'll go into the video so we can watch it with Theron everything we need is just down right here I'm gonna pause that again um, and here's what I found the other day. If you're logged into YouTube and you go to a video that you have uploaded you, and you mouse over the description here, you can click on it and it'll turn it all into text, which is great because then all you got to do is uh, copy it. So I'm hitting Control C. The other thing you can do is highlight it and then copy and go back over here and paste. So one thing to note, is you don't have very much space to look so you can drag down if you want so I put the uh, Valdez Fish Derby's website first then the Facebook um, because ultimately the Fish Derby's website is what you want them to see um, you have the most control over that you can post anything you want then I put down Facebook because that's where people will likely be following you uh, and looking at your content so you can when you post something that's kind of the action that gets them in and watching whatever you upload. So um, this obviously doesn't work. So we're going to add a new description. Here's our recap of the 2012 Valdez Kids Derby. Tons of fun this year. It was tons of fun this year, and we hope to see you in 2013. And I, I don't like to make these things very long, um, because if you go back over to Theron's video, and we're just going to click Save so that we can take a look at it, this is how most people are going to see the video itself, and you don't see very much of the description. That's why I put the fish, the Valdez fish derby right at the top. If you click on show more, it'll show you that. But most people, anything below a scroll line is kind of lost. So um, if you make them too long, people just flat out aren't going to read them. Um, one thing to always think about with video descriptions is people get intimidated by text. Um, it's the same thing with the length of a video. Most of your videos for YouTube should be anywhere from one to three minutes. This four minute mark is a little bit too long, but it was a good interview, so I just decided to put the whole thing up. Um, you can kind of play and see what kind of response you get by tracking the video views. So now we've got our description in here, and we've got pretty much everything we need, except for the tags. Here's the great thing about the tags. If we go back to Theron's video, I just found this out the other day. All the tags I used are right here. So all you have to do, this is probably the best way to do it, select all, right click and go select all, right click and go copy. 
go back to your video descriptions, right click, go paste. So one thing to note about this is that that didn't seem to work. Oh, it worked. <laughs> so these are all the tags. You don't want to separate them by commas. Some places tell you to do that. You don't have to for YouTube. One thing you do want to note is that if somebody is searching for something, let's say Valdez Fish Derby, you want to put it in quotes because then Google is going to um, basically look at those words together and you'll come up as a response for it. Alaska fishing is another one I did. So one thing we want to do here is we're going to add just a little bit by saying kids derby and it's okay if you repeat some tags. This might also be at the beginning. Um, kids derby and I'm just going to put in summary, recap, uh, basically the things that are up in the title here you want to add down in your tags. That's all there really is to tagging. So you can copy and paste these tags, edit and delete just one or two of them if you feel like you need to um, in order to get people to see them. If, you can put a ton of tags in there, but I have a feeling that Google tends to shy away from that. Um, this is plenty. You just want the highlights. You want what people are searching for to be down in here. So you guys probably will think up things that I haven't. It's easy to add new tags. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. You want to make sure your privacy settings are set to public so people can actually view it. You can set it to private if you want, um, but no one will be able to watch the video unless you give them special access. That's good if you're uploading a video that you want just to be there and ready uh, so you can list it as public later and then it'll show up on your channel. Category doesn't really matter. Um, I tend to just kind of look through here. People and blogs isn't a bad one for this. Sports, travel, and events. There, that's perfect. And you can pick your video thumbnail. Um, I always like showing someone's face, so we're going to click this little girl right here. They only allow you three, and you, I mean, you guys know this already. You can't upload your own thumbnail, which is kind of a bummer. And that's all there is to it. So this video looks to be already uploaded because you can edit all of these tags as you go. If you go into advanced settings, you've got things like allowing comments. If you find that a video is just getting spammed with comments that you don't want, just uncheck that and uh, it'll all go away. Video responses are something that YouTube used to be full of. You probably won't get any of them anymore. Uh, you, people can post video responses to someone else's video. I doubt you're going to have anything like that happening. Uh, I would enable embedding so then you could put it on your website. And then... That's all, pretty much. So let's go and take a look at our channel again. And we're going to go to click here and go to my channel. And here is our channel again. Now, it hasn't shown up here, but it will because this is our all of our uploaded videos are going to show up here eventually. So I'm going to go into videos. Just take a look here. One thing to look at is you can create your own little playlists. Um, I created one just called All Videos, but you can basically create one of just testimonials or just uh, pictures of fish or um, you know pre-event stuff, um, anything you want really. And then you can give, you can assign all those videos to this playlist, which will allow you to just send out that playlist and say like, oh, look at all the the videos we have of the winners right here. Um, I really don't see it using it too much, but if you want to dig in, feel free. So I'm going back to our channel. Pause this again. Um, let's take a look at if you want to edit a video. For that, click on here again, and you have a video manager. There's also a link. You'll find this link in multiple places. But video manager is where you can get back in, delete your videos, um, add them to playlists, edit their attributes, stuff like that. So let's say we want to change the Theron Lee video tags. Uh, what you can do is you just click edit it'll take you to the video page and here are those options all over again so if you want to add a tag in here that's really easy like just for kicks let's go kvak and spell it right and then you just hit save that's how you edit all the the attributes of the video so if you want to take one down you can set it to private here and all that the last thing you should probably know is if you go back to video manager if you want to get rid of a video, uh, you 
click on this little checkbox here, you have all these actions you can take. You can add it to the playlists, which is kind of nice. Um, the other thing you can do, you can delete it. You can change its uh, privacy settings. You can also change its license, but I wouldn't deal with this at all. If you put something in the Creative Commons license, it becomes public domain pretty much. Um, and people can take it, re-edit it, do whatever they want. YouTube decided to make that available for people. It's not really something you'll do. And that is pretty much it. That is uploading, tagging, and getting a video ready. We should see the next video up in here um, once YouTube has finished processing it. It takes a little bit of time. So uh, if you've got any questions about that, let me know.